Yo, my name's Crazy Bailey, aka Mirza B, back with another video, and I wanted to talk about Virgos, and Virgo Risings, Virgo Venus, Virgo Suns, um, I guess Virgo Moons too, but basically the overall sign of Virgo, um, I could talk about Virgo Mars too because I know Virgo Mars. So, anyway, this is my piano, my bookshelf, my closet. Hey. Um, I am a Virgo Midheaven, so I might come off as a know it all, possibly, or that's what I might be known for, or some sort of like writer or something. Um, I'm also a Venus in the 6th house, which, um, you know, is the house of Virgo. Um, so, what I've noticed about Virgo sons specifically is that they are the debate team. If you want to have a good debate with someone who's level-headed, with someone who has the facts, and someone who can you know, meticulously look at things and, like, do their own research because it's ruled by Mercury. The sign Virgo is ruled by the planet Mercury. So these people are good at research. They're good at figuring out the facts, you know. Um, I would say that, and they stick to the facts. They don't go off in some weird little psychedelic tangent like a Sagittarius or Pisces placement would do. You know, they're going to stick to the facts, and they're going to stick to what... They're realists. They are the realists of the world. They are not going to... They're very practical. They're not going to, you know, go off on some psychedelic, weird, vague description of how the world is. They're not going to do some godly thing and, like, preach to you about, like, the the crazy esoteric things of the universe. They're going to stick to the facts. They're going to stick to the science. And that's why I like Virgos is because, you know, they're very practical. I am Pisces Sun, Sagittarius Moon, so I am not the most practical person. I'm big on faith. I'm big on believing in things. So that's why I like the Virgos is because, like, they help me to be more grounded in this reality, you know, sticking more to the facts of things instead of being in la-la land, which a lot of Pisces and Sagittarius placements can do. Um, so my brother is a Virgo, I worked with a Vir I worked with two Virgos, and I just noticed that they are the debate team. If you want to have a good debate with someone, pick a Virgo, they are going to know the facts, they're going to know the realism of something, and while I may want them to look at the bigger picture and something that they cannot see with their eyes, they are going to tell me about the facts and the things that you can see with their eyes. They're going to be very practical about their debate and what they're debating. And you can argue with these people. You can have an argument with them. And when the argument's done, it's done. There's no bad feelings. There's no hiding how you feel. It's just like you guys shake hands and the argument is done. And that's why I like Virg Virgos is because you can debate with them. You can argue with them. And when... The argument or the debate is over it's over and you know they have so they can help you see if you are not a realist if you're a more esoteric type of high believer type of person they help you to see see the realism and the practicality of things and that's why I like the Virgo is because they help me see the earthly side of things now a Virgo Venus Virgo in the sixth house person, which I have, but more Virgo Venus um, instead of Virgo in the sixth house. Like, they're going to be a very practical lover. They're going to be a very picky lover. They're not going to just date anybody, which can make them single for a very long time, I feel like. I feel like a lot of Earth signs, Venus, Capricorn, Virgo, um... Taurus can be single for a really long time because they're trying to find something real in a world where a lot of people are phony and so a lot of the earth sign Venuses, especially Virgo, can be very picky when it comes to finding their lover 
and so it can make them single for quite a while. Um, and same with Virgo Mars, they can be very picky when it comes to sex. They want the best type of fuel, I guess, in their engine. Um, and speaking about having sex with someone, they want the best of the best. You know, they're very picky when it comes to their lovers and having sex with someone. Um, and so, yeah. Um, Virgo Risings. Virgo Risings, I feel like, are very cute. Um, they don't come off like they want to um, be too loud, be too, you know, too much. Like, I'm a Scorpio rising. I'm very intense. I'm very, I can be very quiet, mysterious, whatever. But a Virgo rising, you know, they're going to hold back. They're not going to say like their truth in order to not make other people uncomfortable they're gonna they're not gonna dress in like loud colors usually they're gonna dress real nice real simple in order not to offend anyone they're not going to want to come off like they want to offend anyone because they want to come off nice and sweet they don't want to be offensive that's the virgo rising so they're gonna dress like that they're probably gonna come off like that like they don't want to be too much we're like Scorpio rising, we just don't give a fuck, we, you know, we're gonna say what we mean, we may not say anything at all to you, and we may give off a vibe like we don't really like you, you know, we're gonna have like this really intense stare in our eyes, you know, and we're gonna have like this really great confidence about us that, you know, you're not gonna find with the Virgo rising, Virgo rising is gonna be more gentle, more sweet, um, more uh, held back rising sign. Um, so that's Virgo Sun, Virgo Rising, Virgo Venus, um, Virgo Midheaven, Virgo Venus in the 6th house, and then Virgo Moons are going to be, um, they're going to want to explain everything. I feel like Virgo Moons are going to want to explain a lot of Virgo placements. Virgo Rising, Sun, Moon, Midheaven, Venus, they're going to want to explain things to you. So Virgo Moon, especially, is they're going to want to figure out why things are the way that they are. You know, they want the facts. It's a Mercury. It's ruled by Mercury. Virgo has, it goes with Mercury, the, the planet of figuring things out, the planet of information. So they're going to want to know everything about everyone. They're going to want to know why things are the way that they are. And this can cause them to be kind of, um, what is the word? Like they have... Um, they're always worried. It makes it, a lot of Virgo placements can worry a lot about like details because like they're always looking for, um, you know, what's going on. They want to know so much about what's going on that it makes them worry. They can worry about others. They can worry about their friends. A lot of Virgo placements can, can worry so much to the point where it makes them sick. They can worry about their health a lot. And that's why Virgo, the sixth house is the house of health. Um, these people can be prone to worrying about their health and they can be health freaks. They can work out a lot because they're health freaks. They can, a lot of Virgo placements, sun, moon, rising, midheaven, Venus, they always need a planner. They always need to know what's in their food, their health nuts. You know, they want to plan things out. A lot of Virgo placements you will find having planners knowing what's in their food, knowing what type, what's healthy for them, what's not healthy for them. Um, they're always, like, going to catch the disease right, right on time. Like, if they have cancer, they're going to catch it right away. If they have any type of anything going on with them, they're going to catch it right away. These are the people that are going to be at the doctors, knowing what kind of STDs they're having right away after they have sex with someone. They're going to be the people knowing what's in their food right away, knowing what's in their in their medicine. They're going to be doing research on what's in their food, what's in their medicine, what's going on with the person. They're going to want to know everything. And so those are the Virgo placements of the world. Um, Virgo moon, too. They're probably going to be worry warts. They're going to want an explanation for everything. That's how their mind is. It's like, brrrr, they're like well, why is this person doing this and what's, what's going on with this? And it helps them to find the information right away. These people are great at finding the facts right away, finding information right away. Um, they're great studiers, great learners. 
people who pick up information quick and that's why a lot of I feel like water signs and people who don't have Virgo in their chart can get jealous of Virgo placements because these people are great at studying things, they're great at picking up information where it might take other placements longer to study, other placements longer to find the information. Virgo placements are going to find the information right away, they're going to find the facts, they're going to find the facts in a person and they're going to want things done perfectly. A lot of Virgo placements, you know, they're going to want they're going to want things done right and um that's why they can, might come off like they're worry warts or things aren't done good enough or they're not done right. If, you know, they're like the saying like if you, if you want something done right, do it yourself. And that is a Virgo placement, you know. If you want something done right, if you want something right, like you have to do, go out and do it yourself. So I hope that that has explained Virgo placements, Virgo rising, moon, sun, Venus, and Mars, Virgo midheaven too. We can come off like know-it-alls, um, maybe come off like goody-goody two-shoes, but there might be other things going on in your chart that make you not that way. So you have to look at the whole chart. They're worry warts, they're going to find the facts, they're going to be health nuts, probably exercising, probably knowing everything that's in their food, you know, eating a lot of spinach, having like a lot of smoothies that are really healthy for them that is Virgo so I hope that this video helped you learn about Virgo placements and um, they are the debate team that is also something these people are really great to debate with people that you know you can debate with and at the end you can shake hands and it's all peace and love so yeah um, I am a Scorpio rising, Pisces sun, Sag moon, and that is my take on the Virgos. Now, my name is Crazy Bailey, aka Marza B, and I hope that you like this video. Um, this tattoo on my finger is S to the third power. It means sweet, savage, and spicy. Sweet for my Pisces fun, my Pisces sun, savage for my Scorpio rising, and spicy for my um, Sag moon. So, anyway, hope you guys like this video and watch my videos for more. Yes. I feel like I just talk like so fast at the end. La 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 la. Um, yeah. Peace out, guys. Mwah.